The Lagos Comic Convention has brought together comics, gamers, and animators for the past eight years to showcase stories that promote African culture. More people are making animation now. More people are doing comics now. It's awesome. It's a big one. It's a big deal. You know, so um, Lagos Comic Con has been able to discover new talents. People that come to Lagos Comic Con, they see what's possible, and then they go back and they start their company. The entrepreneurship mindset just kicks in and they want to start something of their own. African superheroes have been growing in popularity in recent years. Comic Republic, founded in 2013, has created dozens of Nigerian characters who have found a large audience. We're picking names and cultures to name things like planets, spaceships, whole um, cultures, whole races of people are named after um, African um, ideologies. And we have, you know, the way the people are dressed, we make sure that, you know, even though it's futuristic, you know, it has a lot of Africanness in their clothes. The comics are free to download online, and most of their readers are in the US and the UK. Funding comes from advertising and spin off projects. A few companies have also commissioned comics for their products. They have also partnered with several NGOs to create awareness around public health. We tell people that we're not an African comic company. We're a comic company that happens to be African. And that's because we, even though we're telling stories about superheroes from the African perspective, we're telling an international story about people who are ready, who are there and have the capacity to do good. And you know, we're, in, we're big on diversity and we're doing it from the African perspective, Nigeria to be particular. Many of the Comic Republic's characters are women. The illustrators say this is because they want to accurately reflect the society they live in. Lagos has too many stories. You could just walk down the street and something could happen <laughs> just like that. And Lagos is always active. It's like a living, breathing organism on its own. In a time where superhero franchises are extremely lucrative, African illustrators say they are hoping their audience will grow internationally and one of their heroes will be the next to capture the world's imagination. Philip Oweira, TRT World. Um.